Uh, what a beautiful day it is. Uh, we appreciate you guys coming out right now. Uh, currently, I want to actually bring up uh, Jay Dittrickson. And he's just going to open us real quick in a word of prayer. All right, if you'd bow your heads with me. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for today. Lord, we thank you for the weather that's held off from the rain and the clouds that block the sun from being too hot to make it just right today. God, I pray that your presence would be with us here on this campus today. That Jesus, that you would be at work in each and every one of us. This would be a, a picture of the kingdom come, your kingdom on earth and your will being done. God, we thank you for the grace and love and the things that you have poured out in this place. And Lord, we're so thankful that we get to show off all the things that you have been doing in each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have Ava lead us in our pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you Pinellas County School Board member and president of the Tampa Bay Arts Academy, Lisa Kane, to sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave over the land of the free and the home Bobby McCallum. We also have our Florida Sheriff's Board member, Ms. Julie Peluso, over here on your right. And uh, also we have uh, Ms. Lisa Kane, who you just actually heard beautifully sing our national anthem, an Ellis County School Board member. We also have a former House Representative, Mr. Tom Anderson. And then we also have our Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranch Department heads here with us. Mr. Bill Fry, our President. Uh, we also have Ms. Maria Knapp, our Executive Vice President, soon to be President. Mr. Mark Davis, which is our VP Operations. 
whole guard. She's our VP of Residential uh, Services. And also we have Mr. Jeff Fletcher, who's the director of our residential services, along with other members of our staff here as well. So at this time, I also just want to just thank so many people that have done so many things for us today. Sorry, just let me get some tape. Uh, for us, uh, one, thank you for joining us today. We are a residential foster care campus um, nestled right here in Safety Harbor. And we appreciate you guys being here. Some of you guys could be anywhere else doing something else on this beautiful day, but you chose to be here with us, and we appreciate that very much. Um, I also want to just thank our sponsors for today for our shirts. Uh, if you look around, our youth and staff are in our these beautiful shirts, and our that is actually through our donors, which is Coast Buick, Mazda, and GMC, which is back there. And we appreciate with all the kids who are actively involved in our program as well um, and just everyone who made today possible the the campus looks amazing uh, we had so many people work together to just get this 23 acres just uh, back in shape after all of this wind this uh, leaf storm uh, we can just continue to rake and ask our kids they're probably frustrated and our staff we've been raking like crazy and you would not think that it was being raked but we have many blisters and uh, ant bites to prove that it was being done. Uh, so, but we appreciate you guys uh, very much for making this day possible as well, and especially the staff who's been working tirelessly uh, behind the scenes, making all of this happen today as well. And of course, our amazing community um, and supporters that surrounds us, sharing with us, for, with our youth, life experiences, your finances, love, support, and food. Uh, we have many people bring food in for us as well. Uh, this past year and currently we are celebrating 45 years of serving Florida's most vulnerable youth right here in Safety Harbor. So that's an amazing testimony to in itself just to know that we have been here for 45 years and, and we couldn't do it without this amazing board that's behind us um, recognizing and, and serving uh, all of us and our children in Florida. Uh, at this time, I want to introduce to you Assistant Chief Deputy Komar, and he is representing Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of Sheriff Bob Gualtieri and the men and women of the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, thank you for being here today. Uh, thank you for your support of law enforcement, and more importantly, thank you for your support here of the uh, Youth Ranch, especially in Safety Harbor, which obviously is close to all of us here. Uh, to the campers, uh, to the kids, to the staff here, uh, thank you for all you do every day. A beautiful facility here. Um, Sheriff's Office has a lot of equipment here today. I'll kind of briefly tell you what, what we're bringing in today. Uh, please feel free to look at anything we have here. We have a display coming up here with uh, flight. So our helicopter will be landing behind the building here between 1230 and 1 o'clock. Uh, canine demonstration, uh, Deputy Huckabee will be here uh, right where those row of chairs are set up. Uh, he should be here at one o'clock for the canine demonstration. We have the mobile command bus there, our MRAP. Uh, so feel free to, you know, tour those uh, pieces of equipment we have here. Uh, any questions, I'll be around for a while. Please feel free to ask me. Uh, I, I do this, I've been here several years and I actually got involved with the youth ranches years ago. I shouldn't say I've had 31 years in law enforcement, but years ago I attended the uh, FSA Floor Sheriff Association Commanders Academy up in Tallahassee, and that's where I kind of got involved with the youth ranches. We raised money at that point in time, that was in 2018. Um, I've, I've been here since then prior, but after that I realized what the campers, what the kids, what the staff do every day, day in and day out, and uh, it really opened my eyes. So uh, again, I won't hold up too much of your time here, a beautiful day here uh, for this event. I look forward to seeing you all next year again too. So on behalf of uh, the Sheriff's Office, thank you very much for everything. Kumar. Uh, so just to piggyback a little bit on what he was speaking about, the different things that we have today, I uh, just want to just actually give just a gentle reminder if you needed to use the restrooms or anything, they're over here in this uh, silver trailer. Um, we right now currently have for our campus is being renovated so that we can serve 20 more children in the, in, in the uh, state of Florida as well. 
So right now, uh, we are converting this uh, activity center into our training center so that we can um, serve more trainings for trauma-informed trainings and different things that we can help in the community. Uh, but I wanted to let you know that the bathrooms are through there. If you're needing handicap assistance, uh, um, uh, restrooms, it's going to be inside the home where we are touring currently right now as well. Um, at this time, I would like to bring up our, uh, our, board, me our board chair, uh, Mr. Bobby McCallum. Sheriff Bob McCallum, have a few words. Thank you, Teresa, and good morning, everyone. Uh, and, and Chief Comar, uh, don't let Sheriff Galtieri know I slipped into his county this morning. He'll have, he'll have a fit. It'll be our secret, Sheriff. All right. Uh, on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranches, welcome to everyone. We want to thank you uh, for continuing to help us with the dream that our sheriffs had in 1957 when the youth ranches began in, in Live Oak at our, our boys' ranch there. You all are here, uh, some may be the first time, uh, maybe others many times, uh, but we thank you for your support of our ranchers and our youth that we're trying to educate and bring up in a great atmosphere, which we do, this staff does each and every day. So on behalf of my fellow sheriffs, and our board of directors, I know Julie Peluso's here, and everyone knows Julie, she's uh, one of our board members. I haven't seen any other board members here today, but it's an honor for me and a privilege to serve as the chairman of the board for the Florida Sheriff Youth Ranches. I'm the sheriff up about 130 miles north, right on the west coast in Levy County, one of our larger counties in the state <laughs> geographically. Uh, Cedar Key, everyone probably knows where Cedar Key is from the hurricanes and the storms. Uh, that's uh, in my county, but uh, it is an honor and a privilege to be with you today. Thank you all so much for your support of our youth uh, throughout the state of Florida, and especially here at Safety Harbor. Thank you. Hope you enjoy your day here today. Uh, and again, I got to appreciate Sheriff Galtieri and Chief Comar uh, with all the hospitality and everything they have set up. I may even have a dive team truck in, in Levy County that might have come from Pinellas. <laughs> so uh, again, welcome. I'll push the down so we can get to the food here pretty quick. Because you know you're going to hear from our president, and uh, he has a tendency to talk a long time. <laughs> anyway, again, thank you all very much. And now Mr. Bill Fry, who has many words, but a lot of words of wisdom as well. Mr. Bill Fry, the president of our Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranches. So, can everybody hear me? Yeah. All right, so Sheriff McCallum just said that somehow a dive truck got misplaced from Pinellas County to Levy County. Everybody heard that, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go on a search in Levy County to find that dive truck to return it. It's a treasure hunt! <laughs> now, I want to welcome everybody and... Uh, you know, just thank you for all for being here. Uh, this is a very special day for, for me, and it's going to be a special day for a lot of events over the year because it's my last of each event as the president of the Youth Ranches. And so every event now that from here through uh, December up to January 14th is a last. And what, a, what an opportunity it's been. Uh, going to be 40 years and it's going to be 40 years of service and 40 years of being a part of of the law enforcement community through the youth ranches 40 years of seeing children grow and develop 40 years of, of having employees and staff and fellow co-workers that just give their all 100 percent and i can tell you that they don't get rich working for the youth ranches in fact if you want to live a life that you're not going to make a lot of money, you come to work for the ranches. Because the donations and the gifts we receive, we receive them for a reason. We receive them to give and make sure that we provide care to children. And that's what it's all about, is providing care to children. And that's our mission. And you know, I told uh, Maria, and Maria, raise your hand again, Maria Knapp, 
Maria will be the next president of the ranches. She will start January 15th, 25. And I told Maria, I told Maria, and, and I fully believe this, and, and is that when we are born, if we pay attention as we grow, God has a plan for us. God has a, a plan for our lives, but we have to commit and we have to turn over ourselves to God. And as a result, God chooses the path that we end up in. I can tell you that a, a lot of the staff and a lot, and myself included, we had no idea that we were going to be with the ranches for the length of time we've been. We didn't know the amount of lives we were going to touch. We didn't know the people we were going to meet. That was because we surrendered ourselves and we said, God first, and then everything else will fall into place. And so when we, here at the ranches, when we talk about our work, study, play, and pray ethic, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about, especially with that emphasis on the pray, to make sure that these kids know that there is a higher power, to make sure that they know they are loved, to make sure that they have a safe place to make sure they're cared for, to make sure they're tied into our law enforcement community, to make sure that they get a good education, to make sure that they have an opportunity to get good jobs and become productive citizens, to make sure they know how to interact with one another and interact with others positively. And that all fits into those four categories of work, study, play, and pray. And if we can live with that, and if we can produce that, then we do prevent delinquency. And that was the mission the sheriffs gave us back in 1957 when we were created. So I'm not going to, I can talk. And yes, I can talk a long time and I can tell stories, but I'm not today. Because I know there's other things to do. But I talk this way for one reason. It's because I love what I did and I love what I do. And I love the children that we've served. And, and when we had over 50 alumni come back at our open house last week at the Boys Ranch and share their stories, they would have never had a life if it wouldn't have been for us. And if they would have never had a life if it wouldn't have been for you, our donors, our supporters, our law enforcement, because y'all are what give us the opportunity to, to do this. And so the last thing I would say, and then I'm going to turn it back over, and I know we have some, pre uh, some presentations, is this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I have a grateful heart to all of you for giving me a life, for providing me a life of service, because I know that my life has meant something, not because of me, but because of all of you, the team of people we work with, the sheriffs that we work with, but most importantly, the kids we serve and what a ride it's been. So thank you so very much. Thank you for being here and, and part of this celebration. And God bless you all. Amen. Jane Grantham, she's our special events manager, and I'm also going to ask uh, Chief Comar if you could come up here as well, and Sheriff McCallum, if you could come up as well to receive this, Miss Maria Knapp, and Miss Julie Peluso, if she didn't sneak away to those tours again. <laughs> Julie Peluso, calling Julie Peluso. <laughs> she is most likely in the cottage on a tour right now and so I have Jane who's going to actually speak now. Hi everybody how are you what a glorious day what a glorious day I feel very protected up here I want you to know I'm feeling very very protected so I my name is Jane Grantham and I am the special events manager for the Florida Sheriff's Youth Ranches I'm very honored to serve and um, it brings me great joy the thing that brings me the greatest joy is um, our donors. I have a very special donor today, and I can't say that she's just a donor, because she's my friend. And um, 
just an amazing, amazing person. Look at, I'm already getting all, what is wrong with me, Mr. Fry? Okay, let me bring up Stacy Myers and her crew. Stacy Myers is the founder. And the event that she puts on is called Party Pirates on the Rocks. And the fun thing, everybody knows about Gasparilla that happens over in Tampa. Well, Stacy Myers and her crew put together a Gasparilla on this side over Indian Rocks. So if you want to know about that, you don't have to go all the way to Tampa. It is an absolutely amazing event. And we are lucky enough that she raises funds for us. Stacy has been serving these kids for eight years with love, passion, and we're very, very grateful. So I'm going to, plus, we got really cool hats, and I don't. <laughs> we're going to get you a hat this year, Jane. We're going to get you one. <laughs> but I would like to present you guys with a check today. We do one event a year, but we're hoping to, to broaden that this year. Maybe a tea party, something special. But um, we would like to donate today for you. Thank you very much. Very, very nice gift right yeah. here. Right? <laughs> restaurants over in um, Indian Shores and they are very very gracious to us and let us use their dock space and we invade by pirate ship and we have a great time bringing pirates into Pinellas County so I hope that everybody can come out and enjoy next year with us yes but also mr. president and miss executive um, I work really hard at that event. It might sound really fun. No, 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 there's no video. Okay, we're gonna take a picture now. I'm gonna give you back your mic. What the fuck are they doing,
Oh, my God. 